Hi, I want to do a quick video. My name is Carla. I am the founder of Fit Outside the Box with Carla. And a quick video on a question that I get asked all the time. And that question is how to become a fitness instructor. And I can't blame anyone for asking that question. It's such a fun lifestyle job, right? You get to work out, you get to impact lives, you get to meet new people, and generally have an impact on a huge group of people's health and happiness. And so for me, it's been extremely rewarding and it's increasingly rewarding and increasingly fun. So I'm gonna offer an answer to that question with a twist because this has been outside the box. And of course, I wanna make sure that I really keep it real with you. The twist is how to become a fun fitness instructor. Because there are a lot of instructors out there. I've been to a lot of classes and some instructors aren't very fun. Okay, so the number one way to make sure your class is fun is to make sure that you're having fun. And so really come into class, be yourself, choose the format that you really love to teach, that you're passionate about, and it's going to come through to the class. The class will feel it. They're gonna have a good time. You're gonna have a good time. And you'll continue to get better and better. And most likely you're gonna be working in an area of your strengths, which really kind of um, works out for win-win for everyone. Okay, so let's cover the basics, which is really easy. Go find gyms in your area or a studio or a place where you want to actually get started teaching and see how you like it, right? So if you live in an area with a lot of gyms, that can be probably a tough task. Look for a place that you really want to work and um, for a place that probably needs instructors. Uh, I don't think you have a hard time there. I've never been anywhere that wasn't looking for instructors, especially fun fitness instructors. Once you find a gym where you actually want to teach, find out what they require. Some gyms don't require certification at all. In fact, the very first place I taught, was an all women's gym. I didn't need a certification. I just needed to be able to teach. And they had a training there. So I took the training, started teaching there. And actually that's how I learned to teach step. Find out what they require in order to start teaching there. Find out if they're hiring instructors at that time. If they're hiring, there may be some really cool um, benefits. They may actually pay for your training. They may actually be able to help you get more training even if they require a certification. They may have additional training that's free there. Okay, the next step of course is to get certified. There is AFA. AFAA, there is ACE, but your gym will probably tell you their preferred certification. So best if you get that one. And like I said, if you don't need one, then you can jump right into the next step. The next step is practice, 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 and take classes. Take other people's classes that teach the same format. See how they're doing it. See if it's anything that really resonates with you. You can adopt it into your own class and make it your own. In fact, you can, you'll become a master at doing that. That's kind of, that's how I learned a lot of stuff is taking other people's classes, seeing what they do, if I like it, incorporating it. The more you practice too, the more the natural you will come out and the more fun you're gonna start to have and the less stress you have around class. Last thing, keep checking in with yourself to see if you're still loving it. If you're not loving it, check on the music you're using. Make sure it's motivating music for you. Make sure you have motivating choreography. If it's time to change either of those, then go back to the previous step. Make sure that you are taking other people's classes and having a good time. So just keep checking in. And those last two things, you're gonna probably do a lot. Checking in to see what you like, and then of course, practicing and taking other people's classes. Those things will help you to grow even faster, do even more, and have more impact, make more money, and all of the good stuff that comes along with being a fitness instructor, which is the best lifestyle job. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Let me know.